in the future. What's up, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, Cyan Dragon coming at you live once again through the power of the internet. Wait. Not for me tonight, 8 8. Anyways, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy, Cyan Dragon, back at it again with yet another video. And in this video, we have quite the interesting product to review today. As you can tell, I'm wearing my Coca Cola shirt, which means we're reviewing a Coca Cola beverage. And when I said this one is interesting, I mean it. And also, when I said at the beginning of this video that we're in the future, I also mean that. Why? Because I'm reviewing Coca-Cola Y3000 Limited Edition. Coca-Cola released this flavor recently, and as a matter of fact, I'm recording this using my streaming software, so I can just pull up good old you. Good, I had a stroke there for a second. Google Chrome and just have a little look-see here. Go on to Coke's official website and see what we're talking about here. So here's what Coca-Cola's website says. New from Coca-Cola Creations, look into the year 3000 with Coca-Cola Y3000, the first limited edition Coke flavor from the future. Created to show us an optimistic vision of what's to come, where humanity and technology are more connected than ever. Mingle, mingle, mingle. For the first time, Coca-Cola Y3000 was co-created with artificial intelligence to help bring the flavor of tomorrow to Coke fans. Taste the future now. And ladies and gentlemen, that's exactly what I'm about to do. Because as you already saw, I have a bottle right here. Let's review it, shall we? So if you enjoy this video, smash the like button, and if you're new, hit that subscribe button. We're on the way to 25,000 subscribers, so if you want to call yourself an OG, then better hit that subscribe button before 25,000 rolls around, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, with that said, let's get to it. So, this is what the bottle looks like. I'm not gonna lie, it doesn't look very futuristic, if I'm really being honest. I think... If they really wanted to go for a more futuristic look, they should have gone for like a metallic, maybe have some robots, robot faces on the bottle just spread around or like, I don't know, maybe like a cyberpunk kind of look to it. I'm not a Coca-Cola executive, so I'm not going to tell them how to design their bottles. I still like the design. It's a pretty nice choice of colors, if I do say so myself. There's not a lot of ingredients in this. It has a pretty short ingredients list. I'm gonna go through it right now. Carbonated water, high fructose corn syrup, caramel color, natural flavors, phosphoric acid, and caffeine. So, yeah, not a lot of chemicals in this one for once. But the nutrition facts, they're pretty standard with a 20 fluid ounce bottle of Coca-Cola. This is regular Coca-Cola, so you know it's pretty hefty on the calories. It has 240 calories as well as zero grams of fat, 50 milligrams of sodium, so it's a little bit salty, 65 grams of carbs, 65 grams of sugar, and zero grams of protein. So, standard soda nutrition facts. And the funny thing is, I don't know how well this is gonna come up on camera, but it says that it's futuristic flavored. Now, I'm not really sure what that is supposed to mean. I don't know if, like, I'm gonna take a sip of this and then all of a sudden I'm gonna turn into a robot or a cyborg or AI like I don't know I don't know what's going on hopefully that doesn't happen I want to stick to my human form but um yeah let's get this bad boy open enough talk Ooh. so I looked it up before filming and it said that this is supposed to have a berry like taste from what I read specifically red berries so all the other kind of berries you're excluded bye Bye -bye. Bye. So like raspberries, uh, st strawberry maybe, I don't know. Ooh, it smells futuristic. Mm. I can gather from this drink's aroma that AI will take over. <laughs> let me stop, let me stop. Okay, without further ado, let's give this a sip. Coca-Cola Y3000 down the hatch. Thank you. 
Yes, it does have a slight berry taste to it. <laughs> yeah, has a pretty slight berry taste to it, like I just said. Doesn't really taste that futuristic, though. I mean, I still feel kind of human-like. Wait, something's happening. Something is happening. I feel wires being... Wires are appearing under my skin, bro. I can feel it. What? 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 Happen ha happening. Greetings, fellow humans. I am now a robot. If you excuse me, I am now going to destroy the human race. Peace out, home dog. No! Stop right there! I had to snap back into reality. I'm back in my human form. Someone actually helped me. Elon Musk helped me turn back into my human form. You would think Elon Musk would want to, like, keep me as a cyborg and then do some experiments or some shit on me, but nope. I'm fully human yet again. But anyway, back to the soda. It does have a slight berry taste. It has that classic Coca-Cola taste as well. It's pretty good. I enjoy it. Although I wish the flavor was a little bit more... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Exaggerated? No. I wish the flavor was more profound. Look, I know there are other words that I could use, and I always use that word, but it's the only word that I can really think of, so deal with it. But, uh, yeah. I wish the flavor was a little bit more profound. I wish the flavor stood out a little bit more. That works, too. But, um, yeah. For what it is, not bad. It's not bad at all. I actually kind of like it. On a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being this is absolute trash, throw it away with all the other useless robots. 10 is, now this. This is the future of Coca-Cola. I would say this is like um, a 7.5 out of 10. Maybe an 8, close to an 8. I would say it's between the 7.5 and 8 range. I wouldn't say it's the future, necessarily. But um, yeah, it's for what it is, it's alright. I gotta stop drinking it because my dad said he wanted to try a sip of it, so I gotta contain myself. <laughs> Would I purchase it again? Yeah, sure, maybe a few more times. It said it's limited edition, so I might not have very many opportunities left to get it. But anyway, that's gonna do it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Have you seen Y3000 in your local grocery store have you seen it on the internet have you like seen it somewhere in your life if so comment down below both in the premiere chat and in the comment section down below I'm saying down below a lot just comment down below your thoughts on it would you try it have you tried it before if you tried it before what do you think of it blah 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 yada 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 all that but with that said this has been your boy cyan dragon i'm gonna insert a clip before the video cuts to the outro sequence of my dad trying a sip of the drink, seeing what he thinks. But other than that, that's gonna do it. Here's the clip, and I'll see you guys next time. It's time for my dad to try the drink. Gulp it down, do it. What do you think? That is strange. Mm. I give it a four out of ten. You don't like it? I gave it a seven and a half. I thought it was all right. Yeah, no. The cola is lost with whatever Faco. It's supposed to be like a berry flavor. Thing. It's Ugh. a berry flavor from what I, I looked up. I'm craving that. Thank you for sharing. Okay, well, you heard it here first, folks. Papa Dragon does not like the future of Coca-Cola. His loss. Thank you.